Praise Master Jesus. Jesus. Praise Master Jesus. God, God is, is a good, good God. God. God is awesome God, yo. Yes, he is. He yes. is wonderful God. What? <laughs> we got three dreams to share. Yes. And we want you to listen to every one of these dreams. Yes, yes, yes. Listen to every one of them. So I'm going to start first. Yes, baby. All right. So in the dream... I began to see um, this YouTuber um, couple, and they were big. They were pretty big uh, YouTubers, and uh, the way their YouTube you, YouTube is, they show vlogs like you know throughout their day. They just show you know their home and what they're doing inside the home and just family life, right? And the man um, was a man of God. You know he. Not that he was a preacher, but you could tell he was saved in the dream. He saved and um, they lived in a beautiful home and everything. And um, I remember part of the dream where um, they were like, you can tell they were video, video recording in their home. And uh, they were showing parts of the video where in the dream where they was in this closet. And this closet was huge. just like it was like a. A whole room that's how big this closet was and you could just see all the materialistic things that they had bought from over the years because of you know they're they're they end up getting wealthy and um so it was a lot of little knickknacks that they own um it was more of the wife's stuff you know and uh as he was video recording his wife you know she was kind of like bragging about all the stuff that she had you know, all the stuff that she owned and, uh, she was just showing and you know, to be honest with you, a lot of YouTubers do that. Yeah. So this is a normal thing. I'm not saying this is a bad thing, but she was just showing all the things that she had bought and she was showing everybody all the things that, that she has accumulated over the years. And, uh, she was just a very, very happy, a happy girl. And, and then I see him on a part of videos where he will encourage people, um, in the name of Jesus, he was in, he was encouraging people and you know just telling people, hey, you know, just keep your your mind stayed on Jesus type of stuff like that. And then they began to transition of when they uh, allowed a friend to come into their home, and this friend was a male friend. And then I began to see uh, their lifestyle of how they have allowed this young man to come in their home. And then I seen, you know, how you just playing around and they were in their master bedroom and the young boy, uh, they, I think they were all the same age now. Uh, the young man, he jumped on their bed and you know, he, they were all giggling and playing and stuff like that. And then I began to notice something that the, the plan, he was playing a lot with the husband. So I realized that this young man had a spirit of, uh, the homosexuality spirit on him but for some reason the wife could not see it um they knew he was gay because in the dream i could tell that they knew he was gay they befriended him you know um but he 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 you could tell he was liking the husband but the wife wasn't paying attention right because she trusted her husband right so then I began to realize that the husband, the more she, he started hanging out with uh, the guy, he started kind of changing a little bit. And then he started flirting with the gay guy too. So I seen them two flirting with each other, the two men flirting with each other. And the wife is delusional. She's not even paying attention. And then it's 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 just like his his life was transitioned into... He's not living saved anymore. He forgot about God. He forgot all about God. And that's how that dream ended. And uh, uh, this is my first time hearing this dream. Mm -hmm. And you can see how God is just telling a great story, a great message. And this message is turning out to be 
reality message. You know, a lot of people started from nowhere, started ministry from nowhere, you know, and they begin to grow mightily. But all of a sudden, you see that a lot of them welcome on, uh, you know, unwanted friendship or unwanted ministers or unwanted uh, a, a, a servant or whatsoever it is to be a help or to come in their family or to come in their ministry. And you see how the whole thing turns around and you know change the whole atmosphere and that's why we need to be very uh, careful and mindful at the same time in what uh, God or, or the calling of God in our life you know mm -hmm. we might be thinking oh we are so powerful nothing can divide us away it's so easy and uh, it's so easy if we if we don't pray all the time anything can happen Okay, you see that this woman bragged about, uh, the, the, you know, because that shows you that her, her mind was was not right, you know, for her to be able to design or to notice that some enemy has crept in. So God is really wanting uh, the body of Christ. We need to focus on God and God alone so that he, he will help us when something some people, some some type of people creep in. He, you know, it would be easy to dictate. Wow, mm -hmm. something has crept in. Something has come in. We need to fight together. And you see, we have to be very careful. The material things we need to focus on God. When even if He's blessing us with wealth, blessings, right. favor, we don't we don't need to f uh, focus. On the earthly things, mm -hmm. we need to Hallelujah. keep our mind off. We need to focus so that we always, you know, stand strong in what God or the assignment God has given unto us. Amen. This is a very great, highly great message from God. And it's like a warning to the body of Christ. You guys out there, the reason why God used the person that he used in this dream is to give a, a clear picture of the message that he's bringing yes. forth to the body of Christ. I mean, it's a wonderful dream. I was like, wow. Like, I know that a lot of people, when they're going through, they're going through hardship. They, boy, they pray so hard. Yeah. And then when God begins to bless them, they forget about God. And the Lord is, you know, and like my husband was saying, it's okay to have material things. Yeah. It's very okay. 100%. He, we, he okay. will give you the desires of your heart. But at the same time, yeah. put God first. Stay in your prayer point. Stay in your prayer life because uh, the enemy will creep in. Yeah. So everything you said was on point. So. Yeah. Yeah. So number two, dream. Mm -hmm. um, in a dream, I seen this young boy and he was really young. I would say that he probably was in... Um, I would consider him as in junior high, high school, ninth grade area. I don't know how old that is. Oh, well. I don't know how old that is, but he was a young kid. And so um, I noticed that he was, his grandmother was raising him. His grandmother was raising him. And so the young boy had a great idea. He had a great idea to start up a business. And the business was kind of unique. The grandma didn't understand it. She didn't. She was actually trying to convince him out of it. She was like, hey, you don't need to do this. This is stupid. Blah, blah, blah. And he didn't listen to his grandmother. He did not listen. He did uh, the business, the little small business that he um, uh, desired to do. And guess what? Coins was falling on him, like here and there. Just coins, coins, wow. coins. And he was picking them up and he was picking them up. And the grandmother began to see all the coins that he was picking up picking it up right and then she was like she was like proud of him like oh. wow you know it ended up being a success story you know and uh she she calmed down on him you know yeah. she calmed down on him you know she let him let him do what he wanted to do and uh i like the strong will that he had that he didn't allow nobody to convince him uh, to stop his business and God was blessing him. But yeah, that was that was a dream. Yes, uh, I love it. I love it because we have been talking about gift. Yeah. You know, a lot of people has been pushed away from their gift. A lot of people. And if you look at this dream, you can tell this is a grandmother, somewhere that 
He's supposed to trust. Mm -hmm. He's supposed to rely on. He's supposed to believe everything that comes out from her mouth. Mm -hmm. But it's important for you to know you have a gift. Not, okay, I have a gift, gift of interpretation, right? My wife don't have it. Mm -hmm. Then I want to interpret dreams. My wife will be like, no, you don't, you don't need to do that. <laughs> you need to pay attention to your own gift. Right. Believe it or not, uh, you the one that has that calling or that gift or that blessing to be something different from your family, nobody should even talk you out of it. If not even a prophet, not even a, nobody should, if it's a gift that you've seen in your dream or seen uh, that you yourself that you can do this, go for your uh, 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 gift. Go for your gift. A lot of people has missed out their gift because mm -hmm. of, Bad uh, advice. Bad advice. Mm -hmm. You know, how they, they, they were talked out of it. Mm -hmm. it, it. But you need to know what God has given unto you. Look at how the, the young boy was doing that and the blessings, money started coming out from it. Mm -hmm. A lot of believers are missing out their mm -hmm. blessings because of uh, 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 listening or believing some, some ignorant uh, people bring out there makes them to miss a lot of things mm -hmm. and then we another thing i like you can use this as an example as well it's like she's an older generation yeah. and he's a younger generation some older generation of people will not understand what the what the youth is doing yeah. so he just you know ignored everything and you know that's some in some cases that's going to happen for you you know you're going to try to get advice from your parents your grandparents yeah. they don't they don't understand uh that type of uh you know, language and yeah. ideas, you know, we're, yeah. you know, we're, um, on a whole nother level. And when yeah. we have, uh, when you have, you know, grandchildren in the uh, future, you're going to be thinking that they're talking crazy too, yeah. but you know, uh, we always got to have wisdom on how allow we give them. advice to somebody. Allow them, yeah. uh, allow them to do their thing. And, uh, even you, you yourself giving people advice, be very careful mm -hmm. not to talk people out from their right. gift. Right. Very important. Right. Very important. Absolutely, absolutely. That was a wonderful dream. God has just given some good dreams, and I love it because it's teaching us something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So guess what? My husband have a dream, and uh, this will be the last dream. Go ahead and yes. share it. Uh, what was his he name? Had a, he had a dream about Justin Bieber. Justin. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Y'all, please keep this young man in prayer. Yeah. Please. Yes, somebody will be like, wow, we're going to be praying for him da, 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 da. because of the dream I had. Mm -hmm. Because of the dream. So in the dream, we all, me and my, you know, my family, we was just hanging out on the outside of our house. And who showed up was uh, Justin Bieber. Mm -hmm. I hope I'm calling that right. Justin Bieber, yeah. yeah. So when he showed up, I was like, this is uh, Justin Bieber. And mm -hmm. we all, everybody knew it was him, and mm -hmm. even my younger son, my younger son was like, oh, Justin Bieber, Bieber, and uh, man, he want to fight my younger younger son, you know, my younger son, he want to fight him, mm -hmm. and I was like, you don't need to fight him, because he's a boxer, he will knock you out, <laughs> then when you begin to look at Justin Bieber, you can tell that he's losing his mind. You can, like, he, his face changed. Everything was just looking so insane. Mm. And you, I was like, what is wrong? What's, is, he, is this guy okay? Is he okay? Then you can see him running, like, acting like somebody that is running mad. Wow. You know, and people were like, what's going on? Even Angel, everybody, we was like, what's going on with mm. this guy? Man, and... Uh, this this whole thing was what we were saying, and I woke up from it, and I was like, wow. Mm. I felt so much for him. Mm -hmm. I felt so much for him. And before we started this video, God began to speak to me that he is next for sacrifice. He is next for sacrifice. That's why we don't need this to happen. Right. We don't need Illuminati to really destroy this young man. Mm -hmm. We need to uh, pray for him. Please try. 
you know, even if it's just one second prayer, mm -hmm. uh, we all, we, if everybody go to heaven, it will still be a great thing. You know, if everybody repent, it will still be a great thing. You know, but as we as human beings, we need to pray for one another. Yes. You know, uh, Job prayed for his friend. Mm -hmm. And when he prayed for his friend, that was when God answered his own prayer. Mm, the Bible says, love your neighbor yeah. as you love yourself. So he's a neighbor. So I, I don't mm -hmm. like this dream. Yeah. I don't like this dream. I don't like this dream. You know, let me tell you something. I, I just love dreams so much because it also teaches us some things. Because yeah. we, we was doing a uh, dream interpretations on our second channel, which is called Henry and Money TV. Okay, so we decided to do dreams that day. And my husband gave interpretations to many people. And I like because... How this one um, lady had a dream about um, Jay-Z and Beyonce. And in the dream, it's just like they were... Well, the meaning was kind of like saying... Well, it was saying that um, they... The Illuminati will make suggestions on who to sacrifice next. Okay, so they're making suggestions. They have meetings on yeah. who to sacrifice next. Yeah. And I see that right now that they have planned to do this to Justin Bieber. Yeah. And so, yeah, let's pray that uh, that suggestion will be destroyed yeah. in Jesus' name. Any yeah. suggestions that they have concerning yeah. anybody need to be destroyed in Jesus' name. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Just, uh, that's, that's, that's just life. And I know a lot of people are like, this ain't real. Oh, it's real. It's real. But listen, if you haven't subscribed to Henry and Money, go ahead and do so. Do you know why? Because it will automatically make you cool Make Christian. you a cool Christian. Just cool Christians. We, we hang out over, over here. here. God bless you all. We love you guys. Bye. Bye. Hey, everybody. We're about to have church service. It's going to be on a Saturday at 11 a.m. Yes. on July the 3rd. Oh. And that is on Saturday, okay? Yeah. And uh, it's going to be great. You know, if you're looking for freedom, uh, even some dream interpretations will be done. Um, this is a place to come. Yeah. It's not the, a place to, uh, to hang out and have fun, but mm -hmm. the place that we're going to fight in warfare. We're going to yeah. fight with the power of Christ Jesus to destroy the plans of the enemy against yourself and against your family. Yes. So we're going to be in McKinney, Texas. Yes. And I'm going to give you the address right now. The address is 2008 North Central Expressway, McKinney, Texas, 75069. Yes. We'd love to see you there. And just know that only God can do anything. With God, all things is possible. Amen. You know, he will bring freedom, set free, and give us genuine salvation. Amen. And we are hoping, believing to see you. And I know that you will not go home to sin. Amen. God love you. You ready, Jerome? Yes. <clears throat> Remember we're looking here? Uh-huh. Help him, Lord. Yes. <laughs> yes. Praise, Praise Master, Master Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> okay, let's do it again. You ready? I do it too much. Okay. <laughs>